السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Enter wholeheartedly into peace Enter societal and international peace All praise is due to Allah The Lord of all worlds Who says in his ever glorious book You who believe Enter wholeheartedly into peace And do not follow in Satan's footsteps For he is your sworn enemy I bear witness I bear witness that there is no God but Allah And that Muhammad is a servant and messenger May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him His household, companions And upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment Peace is a noble human objective and a fundamental cause in the Islamic thought. Islam is a religion of peace. Allah exalted is all peace. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, is the messenger of peace. And the greeting of the Muslims in this life and in the hereafter is peace. Paradise is the abode of peace, and the greetings among the people of Paradise is peace. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe, enter wholeheartedly into peace. Allah also said, He is Allah. There is no God other than Him, the Controller, the Holy One, Granter of Peace. Also Allah, glory be to him, said, A messenger has come to you from among yourselves. Your suffering distresses him. He is deeply concerned for you and full of kindness and mercy towards the believers. About the people of paradise, Allah said, Their greeting, their greeting in it are all peace, are peace. Allah said, their greetings in it are peace, and said, they shall have the home of peace with their Lord. Allah also said, their supplication will be, glory be to you. Allah and their greeting is peace. A true Muslim is the one who brings about peace with himself, spread peace in the society and all over the world. Inner peace makes one lives in, in an atmosphere of quietness and tranquility. Inner peace makes one lives in an atmosphere of quietness and tranquility. Loving good for others and purity, purity of heart. Therefore, he shall not carry hatred, envy, and will never cheat or betray. He will be a key of goodness. He will be a key of goodness and an obstacle against evil. The Almighty Allah said, Those who have faith and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah, truly it is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts find peace. Prophet peace be upon him said, the believer loves other and is loved by other. No goodness in those who do not love others. The best human are those who are beneficial to people. Very important this hadith. The best humans are those who are beneficial to people. The Prophet ﷺ also said, No one of you becomes a true believer until he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. A true believer, the Prophet ﷺ also said, some people open the door to good and close the door to evil. Some people open the door to evil and close the door to good. Glad tidings to those in whose hands Allah places the keys to good and woe to those in whose hand Allah places the keys to evil. Just a true Muslim is at peace with himself. He is at peace with his society. He is disciplined in his dealings with all people, 
regardless of their beliefs. He believed that the philosophy of peace in Islam stems from the fact that this religion is fair to all people in terms of rights and duties. He believes in accepting the other and those are different from him. The Almighty Allah said, Had your Lord willed at the people on earth would have believed, so can you profit compel people to believe? He the Most High also said, Let there be no compulsion in religion. True guidance has become distinct from error. Also Allah, glory be to Him, said, People, we created you all from a single man and a single woman, and made you into races and tribes, so that you should recognize one another. In Allah's eyes, the most honored of you are the ones most mindful of Him. Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. That is to get to know one another, cooperate and integrate with each other. This shall lead to preserving people's souls, honor and properties. The society as such will live in an atmosphere of justice and loyalty. Therefore, security, stability, development, prosperity and progress will be achieved. There is no better proof for the importance of achieving societal peace than the constitution of Medina that the Prophet ﷺ concluded with the Jews of Medina. This document is considered the best model in the history of mankind for peaceful human coexistence and peace among the members of the same community of different religion and belief. In the framework of civilized humanness, equal citizenship, and spreading the values of mercy, solidarity, cooperation, and tolerance. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad wasallam, his companions and followers. Achieving world peace is a human and national duty. I will establish civilizational necessity and a firm foundation that Islam has deeply rooted in people's heart. The Prophet ﷺ said, All people, all people, spread peace, feed people, strengthen the ties of kinship, and be in a prayer at night, when others are asleep, so that you will enter paradise in peace. The Prophet ﷺ directed his speech to all people, not only Muslims. Moreover, he, peace be upon him, gave primacy to spreading peace over feeding the poor and praying at night when people are asleep. This stresses the status of peace and its importance to all humans so that may enjoy security and happiness, and be keen to spread it all over the world. Peace requires us to be keen to achieve security and safety, and to preserve homelands. Our religion is a religion of building a reconstruction, not demolishing destruction or corruption. Add the Almighty Allah, does not like corruption or the corruptors. True peace requires good coexistence, solidarity, and compassion, so that we all enjoy peace, security, and safety. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world. Thank you.